today I'm doing a full build breakdown of the Civic. That includes everything from the paint job to the engine, transmission, um, the whole nine yards, including purchase price. So let's get started. <laughs> Right, so we're going to basically just jump straight into this um, build breakdown here. Now, I do have the prices of all the visual enhancements such as the paint on the outside and the grill and, you know, stuff like that. And I'll also have it separated on how much I have into the stock engine with just like a turbo kit thrown on it um, and making 18 pounds of boost on the completely stock internal motor. And then I'll have the Viterra build price of just the engine work and then I'll have the grand total of everything. All right, so as for performance mods, you can see here, we've got the log manifold. We have the log manifold at $59.94 off of Amazon. The intercooler kit was $159.99 off of Amazon. I bought these at the same time. The blow off valve was a freebie I got from a subscriber, Black Moon Builds. Link will be in the description. Go check uh, his channel out. I really appreciate that. The turbo is $169.99 off of eBay. It's a GT30 twin scroll. Downpipe was $54.88. Dump tube was $21. Oil return and oil feed line uh, was $28.98. That was $7.99. As for these 1,000cc ID injectors, I got these from a friend and neighbor down the street, Steven. Um, he upgraded, so he just let me have these. So really appreciate that as well. Got a Walboro. 255 LPH pump, $75.78. The fuel gauge, which is right there on top of the fuel filter, that right there was $10.28. The adjustable fuel regulator, um, that right there was $14.02. I'm trying to leave as many of these in the description to links of the exact thing I bought. So that way, if you wanted to repeat this build, you could very easily do that. As for the boost gauge, this right here stops at 20 PSI, but it still works really well. But this was $14 at Harbor Freight, and it works really well. As for the AEM wideband right here, I ended up paying $80 from a friend and subscriber for that. The racing steering wheel was a freebie that I got from a friend and subscriber as well. I um, just want to say thank you to all the people who contributed to this build. It's really awesome. Ended up getting Texas Honda Channel shift knob custom made by a subscriber, Sinformant. Really appreciate that as well. The solid shifter bushings that are connected to this were $13.11 off of eBay. As for the drilled and slotted rotors, they were $50.51 off of eBay. The solid mounts that are on the car actually came from a subscriber they sent to my P.O. box. So I just wanted to say thank you, Henry, for the solid mounts. Um, they've been working really good. The transmission in here came from the salvage yard. It's a B000 transmission. It is the short gear Y8 with the uh, steel shift forks instead of the aluminum. That transmission was $110 from Budget Wrench Apart. Uh, with my core fee added to that. Without a core fee, I believe is like 145. Then we've got the Honda S300 version three I picked up off Marketplace for $450. The Z6 intake manifold came from Budget Wrench Apart. I paid $30 for that. And the B18C Type R throttle body, um, that actually came from a friend, so that was free. And then I port matched it to it. This is how hard it pulled on just the stock engine with all the stuff listed. If you were to just buy a crappy looking Civic for 400 bucks off Marketplace and put all the stuff I literally just listed on there onto the car, you would be just as fast as that pool video. So now we're gonna throw in the Viterra build to that for a grand total of $783.02. So it's still less than $2,500 and it's really quick. But of course, I wanted to make it look nice as well. So we're gonna throw in the price with the visual modifications. Black truck bed coating, a gallon of it's $50. That was enough to do my entire dash, door panels, uh, lip kit, all the way around. The wheels that are on here were free. Um, I ended up trading Casey the gold wheels that I got for free from my neighbor, Steven, down the road. 
So these wheels were absolutely free. I just painted them with $5 worth of paint. The front lip that is on the car, that was on the car when we got it. Um, the Anaka catback exhaust that's on here was on here when we got it as well. So I'm not counting those. Um, the autism awareness tag covers were $20 for both. Um, they were actually money donated on this channel for me to buy them. So appreciate everyone who donated the money for those. The orange paint for the truck bed coating was $214. Autism awareness fabric for the headliner was $20 for a grand total of $521, shy of $3,000. Um, and this is what $3,000 can get you if you do the work yourself. A lot of time and a lot of effort went into this. Uh, and I couldn't have done it without you guys like literally I could not have so I just wanted to say thank you Keep hitting the like button dropping comments below and asking questions um, I'm here if you guys need me and I am on Instagram as well. Just search Texas Honda channel or Go to instagram.com forward slash Texas Honda channel and uh, get a hold of me that way Wanted to just do this build breakdown video for you guys because a lot of people have been asking how much did you pay for this or that? And how much do you have in the whole car? So I'm going to round up and say $3,000 for everything because I'm sure I missed one or two things that were small, um, but small things add up. But yeah, that's what about $3,000 Civic looks like um, with a lot of time and work put into it. And it's pretty quick. So we're going to see what kind of power it puts down. So we'll know exactly how much $3,000 gets you for an entire car painted looking good with um, a built Viterra engine. We'll be putting some um, aftermarket brings and retainers in here and then putting a Y8 cam locking VTEC in place. Um, since it's a non VTEC head, there will be no point in having a crossover. There will just be the VTEC cam it rides on at all times, which will make it kind of lopey at idle, which will sound cool. And it'll give this thing a uh, tremendous power throughout the entire power band. So we'll uh, definitely hit over 400 horses with that setup in here. But currently I'm shooting for about 350 to 400 and I'll be happy because this is a street driven daily driven car um, and it's pretty fun and it's comfortable so um, yeah we're just gonna get to it as soon as I get some money for the drag strip and then we're gonna get some slicks on it eventually traction bar stiffen the suspension in the rear so that way it can launch a little bit harder we're gonna see what kind of power it puts down at the dyno then we're gonna take it to the track and uh, see what kind of quarter mile time we can get out of it and after I get happy with the quarter mile time, we will take it to some uh, autocross events if I can, God willing. Um, but yeah, so we definitely have a lot of stuff done and a lot of stuff planned. I forgot to mention um, the catch can, but it is worked into the price already. But yeah, it's like 20 bucks. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with the way it's turned out. And uh, for a future project, we have the pilot here. Now this will be getting the off-road package, bigger wheels and tires. Um, and fender flares, repainting it and truck bed coating. I prefer the truck bed coating. I can't stress that enough. I have four kids. They've door dinged both of these cars, which are truck bed coated and it's uh, held up really good. This has been on here for almost two years. Uh, one first place trophy. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's a nice car show and there's a lot of nice cars. So I was really surprised I won, but uh, this is all painted on. This isn't a sticker anymore ended up painting it on because it was peeling off. So I stenciled this uh, with my vinyl machine, spray painted it and did it in layers. It was kind of hard to do, but turned out pretty good. This thing has video surveillance, dash cams that detect motion and start recording. Um, so don't get any funny ideas. But anyways, we also have security cameras up there. You can see we have more than one, but I'm not showing you all of those. Has touch screen deck pretty nice it's a little dirty right now but we're gonna get rid of this theme unfortunately and uh, do an off-road theme it's gonna be pretty cool though we're gonna have a roof rack and all the good stuff and it's all-wheel drive with a v6 VTEC it's pretty powerful as it is port and polished intake runners exhaust system done to it and stuff like that well taken care of but if you are new here definitely consider subscribing I'm sorry if this video was too long for you um, it is what it is. I just wanted to go over everything and break it all down the best I possibly could and give you guys kind of an update on how how it's running. Which, by the way, it runs really good. It is a cold start, so it's probably going to probably going to run really rich. Oh yeah. Holy cow. Yeah. 
it's really rich at startup with those thousand cc injectors but runs good the exhaust sounds good i'm going to give you guys an exhaust clip so you can hear how it sounds uh, with the anaka and the turbo now you can see it's kind of smoking it is kind of colder out right now plus the uh, fact that it's running really rich so if you see smoke that's what it's from figured I'd give you guys a little two-step action, but um, you can hear how noisy these injectors are. That's coming from the injectors, so don't worry. Valve lash has been adjusted. But uh, yeah, it's running good, and hope to see it at the track soon, and have you guys some more content out. So, But I'll see you guys in the next video. I appreciate you stopping by this one. So until then, God bless, stay safe, stay awesome.